it should be the most secure place in Kabul, the green zone in Afghanistan's capital. But that didn't prevent an attack apparently aimed at the country's defence minister. Explosions and small arms fire, as it seems gunmen were able to penetrate the area. The fighting that's sweeping through Afghanistan after the withdrawal of Allied forces now reaching the heart of the country's capital. Then, sometime later, while fires from the blast still burned, Kabul residents out in protest against the attacks, chanting God is great in defiance of the Taliban and supporting their government and armed forces. The same chant, but from the other side, in the southern city of Lashkar this week, as Taliban fighters entered parts of the city. If it falls or the others also under assault, the Afghan government will be in deepening trouble. But the most immediate fear is of an impending humanitarian disaster. Tens of thousands of people are on the move, terrified of the Taliban and the upsurge in fighting. One former UN official told Sky News the situation is deeply worrying and needs urgent international action. It is an extremely large number, much, much larger than um, totally acceptable. And I think the international community needs to step up uh, its commitment to aid. And I really stress that the uh, international community has to speak out uh, with unequivocal voice together. And this is very important that they speak out together at the highest levels. No one expected peace and calm after the Allied withdrawal, but few anticipated the Taliban's advances to be so swift. And now an attack in the capital's green zone, likely to demoralise government forces and cast further doubt on their ability to keep Afghans safe. With the fate of several key cities now hanging in the balance, the next few weeks could determine the future of the country and its increasingly beleaguered government. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, 